number one in America at SteelUSA.com. I'm Casey Kralovitz. And I'm Louis Casarella. And we're your host for the Steel How To Series. Steel created the How To Series to give you some tips and general advice on how to operate and maintain your steel power tools. Of course, as always, Steel recommends that you read and understand the information provided in the Steel Instruction Manual that came with your steel product. If you can't locate your manual, it, along with all our instruction and safety manuals, can easily be viewed and downloaded for free from our website at www.steelusa.com. So what do you say, Louie? Let's get started. In this segment, Louie and I are going to show you the safe and proper way to start your chainsaw. But before we get into the procedures of starting a chainsaw, there are some basic cautions that need to be followed. Before starting the saw, make sure the fuel and oil caps are tight and wipe away any fuel that may have spilled on the chainsaw when you added fuel. And check the chainsaw over making sure nothing is missing or broken. Always remember to start your gas powered tools a minimum of 10 feet away from where you added fuel to the tool. Never start or operate your chainsaw unless you have the proper protective on. Casey's got his boots, chaps, gloves, glasses, hearing protection and helmet system on. And last. If you're approached while the saw is running, engage the chain brake and shut off the engine. So what do you say, Casey? Let's get into the starting process. Sounds good. Two things you never want to do. Drop start the chainsaw as Casey's demonstrating here, or throw starting it. Operators can get really hurt using these techniques because they literally have no control over the saw once it starts. Okay, Louie, let's show them the two-way steel recommends. First, you're positioning for starting the chainsaw on the ground. Casey has a saw sitting on the ground in a clear, flat area. The bar and chain are clear of the ground and there are no objects or obstructions nearby that could come in contact with the bar and chain. He'll slip the toe of his right foot into the opening of the rear handle. His left hand is pressing down on the front handle, his thumb and fingers fully wrapped around the handle and his elbow is locked. His right hand will grip the starter handle for pulling on the rope. So this is an excellent and safe way to start your saw when you're in a clear and open area. But in case you're not in a clear open area, you got twigs, brush, or debris, Steel recommends a second method for starting your chainsaw in the standing position. First, Casey's going to make sure he has secure footing. He'll position the rear handle of the saw between his legs, just above the knees. He's got a grip on the front handle with his left hand, thumb and fingers wrapped fully around the handle and his left arm is in a locked position. He'll use his right hand to start the saw. These are the only two methods that Steel recommends for starting a chainsaw. Give it a little practice, it's not that hard and you'll be safer doing so. So we've covered the two recommended starting positions for your chainsaw. Now let's talk about the controls. The first thing you want to do is engage a chain brake. You won't release the brake until the engine starts. If your chainsaw has a purge pump feature, pump the bulb a minimum of five times. Don't worry, this won't flood the engine. All you're doing is moving the fuel from the tank to the carburetor and circulating it back to the tank again. If your saw has a decompression valve, usually found on professional saws, press it in. Next, for cold starts, grip the rear handle with your right hand to press the throttle trigger interlock and squeeze the throttle trigger. This allows you to move the master control lever to the cold start position. If the saw was just recently run, you may want to put the master control lever into the warm start position. Holding the chainsaw in the correct position, as we just discussed a moment ago, grasp the starter handle and pull until you feel slight resistance. At this point, give the rope a sharp, brisk pull and then guide the rope back slowly into the starter housing. Two things not to do. Don't ever wrap the rope around your hand for starting. And never let the rope snap back to the starter assembly. This will damage the internal parts. Repeat the process of pulling the starter rope until you hear the saw burp or try and start. Now this is important. If you have the master control lever in the cold start position, move to the warm start position now. 
Don't pull the starter rope one more time until you do this. If you don't and continue to try and start the saw in the cold start position after that initial burp, the very next pull most likely will flood the engine. So you've experienced the burp and you've moved the master control lever to the warm start position. If you have a decompression valve, you need to depress it again. Now you can pull on the starter rope again. Probably only a few times will be needed to start the engine. And this is important. You don't want to accelerate the chainsaw with the chain brake engaged. Release the chain brake and accelerate the chainsaw a few times to warm up the engine. Engage the chain brake and move into your cutting position. Now you're ready to go to work. If you want to stop the engine, simply move the master control lever to the off position with your right thumb, never releasing the front handle with your left hand. So that's how you start your steel chainsaw. Now here's a quick tip. If you happen to flood your steel chainsaw by mistake, the first thing you're going to want to do is move your master control lever to the off position. Remove the spark plug boot and then the spark plug itself. Dry off the plug and position the spark plug boot away from the spark plug hole. Crank the engine over several times. This is going to allow you to clear the cylinder chamber of any excess fuel. Reinstall the plug in the boot. Move at least 10 feet from where you worked on the unit. Put the master control lever in the warm start position and start the chainsaw. So there you have it. Now go get some firewood. This is Casey Kralovitz. Louis Casarella. See you next time. time.